Hey, 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 friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 16th, 2018. So back from the money show and on my trip back, I was watching this market bounce. In fact, I did a little bit of trading from my phone, which I really don't recommend, but um, worked out kind of nicely yesterday for me. And as you can see, I was hoping for a follow through today, but clearly that is not in the cards this morning. Um, Asian markets were uh, mixed, but most, mostly lower last night, and European markets were also uh, are also currently mixed and mostly lower this morning. And as I record this, the Dow futures are pointing to about 156 point. Um, a decline at the open and that's continuing to get a little bit worse so we're taking back a good deal of that move yesterday um, all at once this morning pretty darn disappointing but at the same time really shouldn't have been a, a huge surprise to anyone just simply because the market volatility is so high so right now when we take a look at this you can see we have this inverted head and shoulders pattern possibility in the chart now there's certainly no confirmation of that i would say we would have a bit more confirmation of that had we followed through this morning but that's not the case and if we pull this chart back here and we take a look at this resistance level failing to get back above there not you know that's at that resistance zone where we could be challenged here so a little pullback not a big surprise but what we don't want to see is we don't want to see this low taken out today. If this low gets taken out today, um, then we could easily and very quickly see the market come all the way back down into here, possibly even testing this low down here. Don't want to see that happen today. And as we move into this weekend and head into the Thanksgiving holiday week, um, we have to remember that anything is possible and we have to be a little bit cautious on how we trade and be be careful not to over trade in this market lots of volatility lots of uh, back and forth remember earning seasons kind of winding down now probably the big thing on the market's mind is trade negotiations and getting that trade deal done before we um, ratchet up those tariffs and really increase um, uh, market dangers for us so watch that closely let's take a look at the spy spy same similar pattern and a beautiful bounce right off of this support right here just absolutely gorgeous and unfortunately we are getting that pullback right into here this morning which is likely going to be a little painful for some folks if we if you picked up a bunch of trades yesterday but a little bit of rest in here now by the way i didn't mention this on the dow but i should mention this here a head and shoulders can easily if if this is a head and shoulders let me just say that if this is a head and shoulders um not not uncommon for a head and shoulders to take a little bit of a break right in here so if it does take a little break in here, hold a couple, three days, consolidate in here, that could actually improve our chances of um, that move higher, if it can move higher. It could also create that next level of resistance if it moves lower. So once again, I'm going to say we want to see this candle, the low of this candle hold. If this candle were to fail, we'll, we could be in some... Um, big trouble here let's hope that doesn't occur let's take a look at the cues cues a beautiful a beautiful hold right off of this price support yesterday gorgeous bullish engulfing candle yesterday and now as you can see we're gapping down taking the majority of that away and once again it's going to sound like a broken record but i need to see that candle bottom hold we need to hold above that and a rest in here would be perfectly acceptable off of this support but if we sink down below here well clearly the the bears will be in control in that point and could easily drive this down so 
um, that's that's um, oh by the way I should mention that even if we do drive this down to the lows please keep in mind that's not the end of the world um, a fairly typical pattern in the market is this right here the W bottom and fairly typical so if that drives down there don't think the sky is falling or that the world is coming to an end it may just need to be a required test down into the lows and it may not have to drive that far down it could come right off of that level right there but if it does please keep in mind that um, that's a fairly typical market pattern in the market and we typically see those after these big moves right there so nothing out of the ordinary if that were to occur so watch that pretty closely let's take a look at iwm iwm um, also holding a nice level of support here bounced right off right there you can see that support right through there bounced right off of there bullish engulfing candle and you can see right here this one is taking it on the chin as well this morning but not quite as bad as the dow and the Qs are this morning so maybe those um uh, small caps will hold up a little bit better remember it was the small caps that indicated this sell-off well before the rest of the market participated it it is also a possibility that IWM could lead us up out of here. So small t small caps maybe stabilize a little bit faster here. So we'll have to watch that closely. I wouldn't suggest that you just dive in here expecting that rally in any way, shape, or form. We do need to see some bullish follow through before we consider getting along the market. Let's take a look um, at the VIX. VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday, and if I were to put a put some marks on here, draw this down, we do have a little bit of a downtrend here, and that shooting star type pattern right here gave us a little hope of um, that pullback to maybe make that new low. But now this morning, this big gap down that's coming in the market, we could easily see uh, the VIX kind of move quickly back up into here and and even higher so we want to watch that we don't want that fear kind of getting out of control because once we get into that panic mode um you know big down moves in the market can occur t2122 four week new high new low ratio we were reaching down here on that sell-off yesterday we were reaching down in here um on that very uh, bullish reversal zone then uh, obviously that's exactly what happened we got that bounce yesterday pushing us back up which <clears throat> gives us unfortunately more room to potentially move to the downside so we're getting that gap down this morning but hopefully we're not going to come all the way back down into here hopefully we catch that that bounce and that rally up out of here before that Keep in mind, however, that we have, if we look at the 50% line here, we have plenty of room for a downside move, but we also have that room for the upside. Hopefully, we will see those bulls kind of stabilize in here and, and maybe hold a level of support and just relax here a little bit as we move toward that holiday weekend. Let's go back here, take a look at the economic calendar today our economic calendar today not much going on here um to really move the market around much except that industrial production number coming out at 9 15 and we do have a fed speaker here this afternoon to think about it and treasury international capital which i wouldn't expect to move the market at all um today so watch that um, early morning report uh, that could move us around on the earnings calendar we only had about uh, uh you know 18 companies reporting earnings today nothing of major consequence unless you happen to be holding one of those companies but earnings are really starting to drop off we've pretty much moved through those fourth quarter earnings maybe we can uh, drop some of this volatility now as a result of getting through those earnings so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click those subscribe buttons on youtube click the follow me button on facebook 
and do me a favor. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about the market here. Just a real quick comment that helps me out a lot. It also helps those algorithms show these videos to more uh, to more folks. So uh, thank you very much for that. Also, let's take a look here. Um, with with the market bouncing around so much, I wanted to give everyone a you know a possible trade or something going on out there. But I got to tell you, it's a little bit sketchy right now. I still think this SO looks pretty good. This this uh, little hammer pattern here yesterday would suggest if we hold off of the hold this level of support, we could see uh, more of a move up. That TRI that I mentioned the other day, beautiful move yesterday in this bounce, um, could easily get more of a pullback here today. But watch that, um, you know. Uh, how cool is that when we see a pattern like that i mention it on a morning video and bang it, it, you know off it goes uh taking off so i love it when that happens also you might want to take a look at some of the defensive type stocks and pay attention to those defensive trades like um, wmt after this pullback if this could consolidate in here and hold in this area that might work um, companies like j and j that are holding up off of support here very well looking um, like possible upsides um, in these trades could continue off of that trend nice little nice little pop yesterday um, in that move now it is pulling back this morning with the rest of the market so watch that it's just one for the list kind of keep an eye on those kind of trades Verizon also holding up well it's one of those kind of defensive it's not truly in the in the defensive sector but one of those defensive type stocks with a really high dividend payment where folks kind of rally to when there's a little bit of concern in the market so verizon continuing to look good so um, watch these charts very very closely there are good trades out there don't don't just um, bail on everything thinking that the market is terrible um, there will be some good trades uh, to be had so kind of keep an eye on that um, an, another place where you guys might want to look is take a look at PepsiCo PepsiCo beautiful rally here pulled back landed right on price support and bounced off of that yesterday um, we need to see that get a little bit of a follow-through but that's a beautiful little trend going on there so pepsico is another one to maybe take a look at so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and and a, and great profits and if this is the um uh, heading into the weekend, if you're going to be traveling, um, I want to wish you all the very, very best as you move into the holiday weekend. Um, take care, everyone. Be safe. We'll see you back here bright and early, bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm.